Here we go. Back to Lightfall. Uh, it's been a while since I've last played, so I need to really customize myself a bit to the controls. I think I'll be alright. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure what we did last time. But I do know we're. Um, I think we just passed the forest with that uh, one owl leg. And how Styx is now happy with how things ended up going with her. Um, also, we did. Get we get, got betrayed of some sorts with uh, the lady we were supposed to be looking for. Turned out she's. she's uh, Having some kind of issue. Hmm. All right. We're gonna have to do something with that. Are we gonna get the ability to slow down time or something? Ahem. I couldn't leave a fool like you on his own so i asked lady ferris to link our minds using her fireflies i might still be able to assist you somehow yeah maybe but what are we doing with these things i wonder so what are these things Probably also be more on the lookout for secret stuff. This is the giant's mouth. No one truly knows how deep it goes because, well, no one ever came back to tell. Well, someone's gonna have to be first. What well, I think the odds are that it's gonna be us. And what are the odds? Yeah, that. Then I'm going to miss out a secret by destroying all of these. Turns out it didn't take too long, just as I was about to say it, and it actually didn't end up happening. Yeah. And I did it again! Okay. Okay, so those are... not good. Did I get a safe point here? Uh, I need to check whether or not... The lady should be safe, right? Lady or whatever that was. Hmm. There are secret mist, I would assume. Not a shortcut, at least. I guess I may as well take it now. I humbly suggest that you stay away from the walls. Might as well take the shorter paths, right? Because at this point they're also... Oh, secret thing? Oh. Alright. Let's bring this... He slid onto it. Again, it's... Been a while, so... I need to... Get back in touch with this character. By that I mean like the way he moves, sliding across everything and such. It shouldn't take me that long, but until I do bear with me. See him. Uh, just no. That, like, what happens when if I do this? Does it block anything important? No. I took like a month break of this game because something else popped up that I was more inclined to do a video on after already recording a bit of this. 
so I did lose a little bit of my uh, accumulated skills, I guess is what you could call them. Okay. There's something there, we just don't know how to get to it, it seems. I'm gonna go back up, see what we missed. Uh, I don't see anything. No, I don't think we missed anything. Okay. The darkness grows thicker with every step you take. But nothing to slow down the shadow trickster, eh? Well, that was a quick descent. Yeah, I should probably get my platforms back before I jump down. Left path seems more more difficult, so we're taking that one. Eternium sure wanted their headquarters to remain secret. Oh, this was a hidden thing. Okay. Let's take a harder path. It'll be better. Nope. Yeah, it makes sense. For a diff more difficult path, be more difficult, but you know, you kind of think it might be also more lucrative as far as secrets and stuff goes. No, 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 not really. Secret. I saw it. I don't always see, but when I do see it, I kind of want to go for it. Basically, means I have to jump down like this. Okay. Glad I'm not a speed running this. Yeah. I don't see there isn't a safe point over there, but I would be kind of quick. Let's just go this way. We'll be a little bit more careful about how we. Just tap the jump button and he still jumps too high. That's what's annoying me right now. They don't really want me to go through with like super slow with platforming? Yeah, I guess it could be. It'll be annoying, but That's the wrong way to put that block in there. 
Sometimes I really wish I could just show you what buttons I'm pressing so you know I'm not messing up the button presses. But probably would break away from the immersion of it all, wouldn't it? I just have a controller on screen saying, now nah, he's pushing this button. This is indeed just not a path. Again, I can't move the camera around. You seem to have reached the bottom in one piece. There's still hope for your people, but you need to press on. All right. The boy wandered through the endless corridors for what seemed like hours. Alone in the darkness, most people would have lost their minds, but it didn't faze him one bit. Then, to my great surprise, the cavern came alive. The cold rock quickly gave way to a lush flora. Even yeah, after lush. so many years, <clears throat> Numbra never ceased to amaze me. It's looking very lush here. It's hard to believe that this lush oasis had existed for who knows how many years. We are discovering a secret world right under Numbra. Who mirrors his voice sound weird? There's something there. Yeah, there might be. Yeah, there's something there. Okay. Ah, no, no, ah, panic. It's over when you panic. I don't know 100% why I'm saving these people. Other than making ourselves feel good at it. It seems that Eternium has its dirty hands all over the... No respect for our land and its creatures. I'm not sure what the hell that was for. Okay, nothing about those. So what is this thing even doing? Preventing me from putting boxes. Those draining pipes. Everywhere in the temple of Midland. Eternium replicate his ability? Prevent you from using your shadow core. Troublesome. Well, on one hand, yes. On the other one, does mean you can get through without needing them. I'm not sure which way I'm meant to be taken here either. Probably down, right? Which means there's likely to have been a secret there. Let's see if you can uh, check up on that. Nope, nothing. Huh? Hmm. 
All right. I don't think they'll respawn, right? No. So we can take our time waiting them to come out of that and then we'll... Uh, Could go back up and bank that thing. See if I can do this a bit. No, I wanted to drop straight down. You silly game. We gotten both of the dudes yet already, though, so that's the thing. Trigger both. Might be able to jump over this one here. There's a say I think I'm better off trying to go this way. How many more of these are you gonna send out after we go? I'm gonna go bank it. There we go. Nothing there. Technology. Yes, technology. We'll go with that word. Because sometimes you just gotta embrace the weird. It seems draining energy. What is it turning him up to? Following enemy base. Boy, hear me? So we're losing connection. That's why your voice is all... Oh yeah, I can't use that. I know that. I know that. But I was aware of it. Sort of. <sighs> it's always weird when a game does something like this, you know? Giving you all these fancy powers and then have a section where you don't have them anymore. A lot of them do it. Sometimes it works better than other times. Here, I don't know. Okay. The closer the boy got to Atenium's fortress, deep underground, the weaker the link uniting us became. I could still see through his eyes, but my words seemed unable to reach him. The situation looked grim for the Kamloops, but if there was one person who could save them, it was Nox. Hmm. We've been saving quite a few people, so... I guess it's safe to say that you don't want to go into those lights.
boss fight? They're giving us pumped up music. Not sure if this is the correct way to go, mind you. We're given the option. Uh, let's check this section out. Actually, I think we're going to have to go all three, which means there's something up here, too. Yeah, we're going to have to do all three sides. Okay. Sure, what's up with these things? It's probably safe to assume that touching a light means you're gonna be dead. Touching those will kill you too. And we haven't had a checkpoint in this for ages. Let's try one of the one path we haven't done yet. Okay, this is gonna be straight up platforming, huh? No fancy tricks. Right. Three challenges once again awaits us. Not gonna be easy. You could try to follow the path intended for us, I guess. Probably slightly easier than uh, going in a direction we're not meant to go. Okay, so just put up a, like, a kill field. Wish it didn't fall all the way down, but, well, you yeah. know. Okay, how big is it? About the size of that second line. Alright. That's quite the jump, though. Okay. It does make things a little less perilous. Challenge one completed. All right, uh, let's do this one next. How hard can some basic platforming be, huh? Really hard. On the bright side, the path you're meant to take is laid out for you. Oh, 
that's not for you to stand on. Okay. I haven't taken some time seeing if that's actually lava, it makes sense, but... In the moment, I did not catch that. My bad. Can't blame a platformer skills for uh, poor eyesight. You're impatient, my boy. Let's try this one. Seems all we do here is fall down anyway. Gaps, if you're asking me. No lava here. Gotta do this. I've been saving all of these for the time being, so I can't just go no right about now. Come on, up, 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 up. See where I was going though. Okay, made it. One more. First try. Even though it's technically my fourth, I don't know. Don't speak, just appreciate. Mm. Too slow. Be a bit of a run up. One. Right, go here because we need the run up. There we go. Then we go that away. When do we jump now? Okay. So we know we're going to turn. Ah, uh, now I see the CD issue. You could try to stand on the edges there, but it's 
a dangerous thing to do. I don't like it that they are either forcing you to do it, or I'm not seeing the proper way ahead. There's gotta be something to it, right? This is just... Too much. I also don't get a checkpoint there, so this is gonna take a while, I think. I love that this was made for speedrunning. Means that technically you shouldn't have to wait anywhere for all too long. Uh, Super Meat Boy was pretty good at that as well. Yeah. Thought I saw something there. You may as well grab it. Especially if it means we can skip a section. To figure out. Nope. I jumped and I knew it. It was too late to turn back. Hmm. I saw something move from the corner of my eye. And I don't mean on screen. Well, yeah, I can't put. I can't double jump with this character. Wall jump. But not double jump. At least not in this place. Let's reset. This is a surprisingly difficult section. Compared to the one below. Usually, any section where they strip your powers away from you is going to be difficult. See, the thing is, or at least I believe the thing to be like that, is um, the creator has more control over what paths you can take if less options are available to you. So, the more gimmicks they give you, the more easily you can quote-unquote cheese things too slow <sighs> I suppose I can always cut this until I get back to another place I think I will because this is gonna be a while and of course the moment I cut the recording is the moment I make it through anyway I need to try something no, that doesn't work, it seems. Let's try that again, just to be... No, you get shunted off, okay. So I can't just cling to the side as it turns to get on top without touching any of the other sides. Humbug. Being, I really do expect you to... ...do that, I guess. Okay. See, I th thought I must have missed something. And that is simply to just keep going. There we go. Ow. Oh. Well, now you're just making things unnecessarily difficult. I 
I don't even... I guess I can go to that block on the left. Okay, there's our goal. Can I make that jump? I should be able to, right? Little baby jump. Oh no, there's something on that side. I need to. I have to. <sighs> Why am I doing this? I didn't even. Wait, I could. I could. Maybe use my block here. Which only has one block in it. What? Why did I only get one block? What kind of shenanigans was that all about? Oh. Alright, let's try this again. This time, hopefully, using a little bit more brain power, and we could just do this. <laughs> uh. Alright, that's three done. How do we got the little yellow thing? After everything Knox had endured to reunite with his friend, their reunion was bittersweet. Luxana had been deceived all along, and now that she had played her part, Eternium was set on doing away with her. Their plan had been set in motion years ago. They wanted to find a way to recreate the divine artifacts and turn them into weapons for their own benefit. To do so required one of the divinities on their side, and Luxana was their best chance. Since the Kamloops' arrival in Numbra, Luxana had been left out, shunned even. The people blamed her for not being able to bring light to their new homeland. A goddess of light, powerless in a land shrouded in darkness? Hmm. A spy living among the Kamloops approached her with an offer. Eternium could bring light to Numbra if she agreed to do as she was asked. Desperate to win back the trust of her people, she accepted and was led to believe that her actions would help the Kamloops prosper. Laudable intentions that led to a disastrous end. Before she collapsed, she urged Nox to pursue Eternium's leader through the portal. He was on his way to the Celestial Palace to get rid of the Divinity's spiritual bodies. The boy jumped straight into the portal, and from that point on, I could feel a cold and terrible darkness enveloping him. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, though. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're in the series for free shows for becoming like and subscribing. I already hope you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.